Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Planet Coaster. This is part four of our pirate dark ride uh, that we are using the Amada, so the brand new um, boat ride system that was added in the Classic Rides collection. So on to today's episode then. So we are adding a little bit more to the scene that we started last time and also putting in the effects on the first drop. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, don't forget to give us a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our content. We've got plenty of Planet Coaster, Park Tech, uh, Planet Zoo uh, and, and random other games uh, here on the channel so do subscribe if you haven't done so already so what are we doing then so in this first top scene that we've covered in the star cloth in the last episode uh, we put in a little bit of rock work around to cover up um, the outer shell of the previous scene um, so that's, that kind of covers up that rock work that's hanging half through the wall um, here towards the drop we build um, we put in a little building as this area is going to be the sort of the start of the pirate village uh, as you'll see as we get through so the actual drop itself is going to go through a building um, so that's what we are putting in here and um, so yeah like I said the rest of this out this fake outdoor section that we're building before this drop is just a very uh, a lightly themed pirate village that's set in the evening so that's why, hence why we've got the star cloth um, so yeah we do put in a few random little buildings uh, a couple of pirates and a few low level lighting sort of torches and things just to give that impression of the outdoors uh, I don't want to light it up too much in terms of the drop itself when we get through to that in a few minutes you'll see um, we do um, have a sort of explosive kind of drop sequence um, that takes you sort of into the direct sort of pirate battle village type scene which is going to be next um, so yeah, the, the the drop itself, to get into this building, you go through a kind of broken wood structure which is kind of lit on fire and then you're greeted at the top of the drop by a couple of pirates who are shouting and firing at you. Um, after they've fired, cannons are, are launched, a couple of explosions, sound effects and the, the sound of pirates laughing as you go down the drop. So yeah, the idea is this is the, the first scene where you are under attack. And that's what we're going for. Um, so um, take it, like I said in the last couple of episodes, taking heavy inspiration from um, actual existing Pirates of the Caribbean rides and also using my own sort of spin on it. Like this scene here isn't out of a Pirates of the Caribbean ride or anything like that. Uh, but the drop kind of is inspired by, um, as a, I believe it's the last drop in the Paris version has a kind of explosive sort of feature to it. Um, but there's no pirates fighting you, so it's just the explosive side of things that I took inspiration from. Uh, but this is just the start of the kind of storyline that you are then within this battle and you are part of it. Um, so that's kind of the idea we're going for with this. Um, so towards the end of the uh, episode, there will be quite a bit of uh, real time footage of this because it's, uh, most of this uh, is sequence. Um, putting the effects in and making everything sort of time so there's quite a fair bit of that in this time lapse so yeah so to really see that in its full glory um, you have to watch it in real time so that's what, exactly what we're going to do towards the end of this episode today there's a couple of minutes just of uh, POV and also uh, just glamour shots to show you what we've done so like I say okay, carry on uh, the theming into the buildings putting in some rough sort of uh, woodwork to give the impression that this building has been sort of smashed through uh, or maybe blown through as like say the next scene there's cannons aiming at you so the idea is maybe these pirates have just attacked the building and you're going through that building um, in the next episode once we get through to the next scene obviously we'll do the other side of this building which you've exited out of um, but for now we have just done this one side um, so here I'll just uh, playing around with a few little lighting effects, making it uh, change colour on the wood to give the impression uh, of like glowing embers. Um, you see, I, I've not utilised the sort of colour changing lights much since they were added, so I thought now would be a good time to have a little test. It's only a very uh, small um, effect as you can see, but I think it works quite well. So yeah, we add that in there so just to give that just to give that slight impression of glowing. Um, in a few minutes, I do move the lighting. To below the track and also hide some within the theming um, as I do want the majority of the ride to be quite realistic in terms of its lighting I don't want there to be um, things showing really so yeah we, we hide sort of hidden trusses and things underneath the track which is what we attach lighting to 
Um, a little bit later on, we put in the audio. You'll see that we put the speakers underneath the track again, so they are hidden, but also so you can hear them. Uh, and then little bits around this ride, they're just going to be randomly hidden in place. So this was the first bit I toyed with the idea of keeping the lighting on the ceiling, uh, but blending it in using some black walls. I mean, it was a bit too obvious, um, so I, I, that's why I moved them down below here. So I used some of the uh, lighting truss um, just on the floor to give that sort of uh, impression that there there is, you know, a realistic um, bit of infrastructure be be behind this ride. As well, when you're on the boat, you don't see any of that. Um, that's just for my peace of mind more than anything. Um, so yeah, one light goes on that truss, and the other one goes here connected to the uh, trough. And then the third one, which is the sort of colour changing one, um, gets hidden within this bit of theme in here. So you can't actually see it from on the ride. Uh, and I said that's the idea. And, and again, Disney do it. It's very rare you'll ever see um, a light or anything of a speaker or anything like that on a Disney ride. As the attention to detail is always sort of paramount. Um, so that is one thing which I really do want to take from, from them and... and Put into this ride and it's something that I wish other places would do um, specifically Merlin parks are pretty rubbish at doing stuff like that hiding speakers and lighting and stuff um, the immersion levels I don't think anywhere else other than Disney really get it right uh, Universal try but they're still nowhere near the league of Disney in terms of immersion um, so yeah it's definitely something that I want to sort of keep working on moving forward with this um, so yeah, um, apologies while we're on the, while I think about it that there's not been um, uh, an episode of this the last couple of days. Um, it's been hectic. Um, my real life's been hectic, and these panic coaster episodes do take a while. Uh, as obviously I need to record the actual footage itself, which this one is around an hour and a half, two hours worth of footage today. Um, and then I always have to record the voiceover here and, and put it all together. So um, it's been finding time to actually um, get this recorded and get on the game so uh, I, I have got a, a sort of a week ahead of me now um, I've actually got a week off work while my um, girlfriend is away on holiday um, so I booked a week off uh, mainly to look after the dogs and also to get a bit of recording done um, so that's the plan so hopefully there should be quite a bit of content coming over the, the next couple of weeks while I get cracking over this nine days I've got off from work I might as well utilize it while I've got it doesn't happen often so uh, yeah so yeah I expect a few more bits of content coming uh, a few more random games as well I've got quite a bit in the uh, first look list uh, of like indie titles that I, I need to catch up on so there'll be a couple of those uh, as well as this uh, pa Parkitect will be carrying on um, and I am very close to starting back with World Discovery um, so I know a few people have been asking when that's coming back um, very soon I'm hopefully going to get back into that um, at some point this week so f for you guys, the video should be up within, I don't know, seven days or so. You should have a World Discovery episode back. Um, all, being, all being well, hopefully everything goes to plan. Um, yeah, we can get back into that park. Um, obviously, we'll keep this running alongside it. We'll have this running. Um, we've got a Park Tech Build series running. Uh, and then, obviously, uh, periodic episodes of World Discovery. They're not going to be weekly, but they will be uh, every now and again, whenever I get a bit of time to get in there. Um, obviously we're going to keep going with the Planet Zoo content, so if you have seen it or haven't seen anything to do with Planet Zoo, do check out our playlist here on the channel, there's about 5 or 6 videos in there now, uh, looking at various different things, new screenshots, um, specifics about staffing uh, and, and all that kind of stuff, so if you haven't checked that out please do have a look, it's very exciting, I can't wait to get playing later on in the year. Um, so it's a good time to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I know it's sort of like a big advert but <laughs> please do, I need the subscribers. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy this stuff moving forward. So back to the footage then, like I say, it's mostly just uh, getting the, 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 the effects in this one. Like I say, this drop is kind of just like I say, going through a, a pirate house um, or a warehouse or something. Um, so that's why it's got all these kind of ropes and and scaffolding and things around and then these rival pirates have set up camp in there uh, where they're aiming towards you like I say with the cannons so they're just setting up the trigger sequence so basically the sequence will go at the top of the drop you will um, you, you stop for a few seconds at the top of the drop at that point two of the pirates will light up they will talk to you and then they will fire at you 
a few seconds later uh, a few more lights come on the exploding barrels and the cannons fire uh, and then the area around you kind of explodes within a lovely ball of fire there's a bit of strobe lighting effects that go off and uh, and then the sound of pirates laughing as you enter or well, exit the drop into the next scene. So that's generally the idea with this one. Um, yes, it's quite a lot of uh, triggers for a few seconds of work, but I think it's important to get these things in because these sort of scenes are what sets rides apart from just being a bog standard dark ride and then them being a sort of fully immersive dark ride like like this one I'm going towards. Like, like I keep mentioning, I am taking heavy inspiration from Pirates of the Caribbean so I want to do this right, I want to do it with justice. So that's why I'm taking the time to just put in all these little speakers, effect, lighting and all that kind of stuff. And so hopefully it will come off quite well towards the end. Uh, and like I say, I will leave a couple of shots in a few minutes where you can actually see it in real time. Um, so I know this is a really quick POV you've just seen then, but don't worry, I, I do show you a proper one at the end. That was just me testing it to make sure everything worked. So to put in the last finishing touches around the area, a few just standard pirates uh, a couple of the like basic animatronic pirates uh, and then that takes us sort of into the glamour shots in a few minutes so i will leave you with those so hope you've enjoyed this um i'm so need suggestions for names and all that kind of stuff um so yeah drop those down below and um, there should hopefully be another episode of this coming um not too long hopefully in the next week um but for now like i said i'm going to leave you with a few slow-mo shots of this ride so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give us a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with all of the content. Fancy a t uh, chat, head over to Twitter or Discord. If you want to help us out, you can do that by going to the Patreon page. All the links are down below. But for now, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.